let's say this refers to what are your chances? In other words, we're discussing probability. Reminder, when you do that, there are two steps. Find the number of winning ways and find the number of total ways. Once you have those two, then to calculate the probability, we say, of an event, we would take the wins over the totals. For an example, let's say you got a probability of one, no, better yet, two sixth. We know that that reduces down to one third. So make sure that you reduce your ratios. Let me put this over here. So we see it's just an example. Now we can report this as a decimal and 0 0.3 repeating is accurate, but it's not too useful of a decimal because it goes on and on forever. Another way we could report this is 33 and a third percent. Yes, but that too is again uh, um, a little bit better, but of these three, very frequently the ratio is the best way to report it. A few examples here about an angle. What is the probability that uh, the point is on the angle? Well, we look at the four points and we say uh, all four of them are on, so there's four ways to win over four total. So we would call this probability one. Again, you could call it 100% too. In this case, the ratio can be simplified to one, so that's probably the best answer. Again, the probability in this case of two of the points lying on CA. Well, in this case, we better look at all the possible points. So let's make a list A with B, A, C, A, D. And likewise, I could make, starting with B, uh, B, A, B, C, and B, D. So we can see here that in each case I have three, and I have four more groups, so we have a total of 12. So there's 12 groupings, and again, if I pick um, which ones are on CA, well, we see BA, AB, CB, BC, and CA, AC. So that would be six of the 12. Okay. Finally, or actually next to finally, the last angle one, what is the probability that if you pick three of them that you name, not names, name the angle correctly? Um, we did this one in class, but to review it again, start with A, and then you would pick B, and then again a third letter would be C, or you could pick D with that same AB combination. Again, AC, you could go B or ACD, and then AD, B, and AD, C. So it looks like we have six that start with A, and there would be six that start with B, and six that start with um, the others. So we would have a total of six times four, 24. Now to find the number that would be correct, notice BCD would be one, and you could also go in a backwards direction. And likewise, there would be from A to C to D and backwards as well. So that means that there are four total. Again, this would reduce down to one sixth. Don't even bother putting that into a fraction, sorry, a decimal or a percent. And now for our last problem. What is the probability that you are five units from C? So you gotta go five here, 
and 5 here. Now when you look at the right, we actually can't go 5, you can only go 4. Yeah? If you go 5 this direction, you would end up at 6. That tells me there's 3 left over here. Alright, our total distance that we have from 3 to 15 is 12. And then if I look at what's my distance for being successful to be less than 5 from C, well, it looks like you got 5 plus 4, you get 9, which is just a simplified form. It's 3 fourths. All right, hope that section.